Good morning. It's Friday, August 19th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Between Pinnacle and Pit, Part 2, and our scriptures, Hebrews chapter 12. Whoever heard of a child who is never disciplined by its father? If God doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means you are illegitimate and are not really his children at all. We're continuing with our investigation of the gap between the pinnacle of genuine faith and the pit of unbelief. The issue is discipline, and it will drive you to one or the other. Unbelief will receive discipline from God as well as faith. Any bad response will drive you to the pit. God's advice throughout this passage is to respond well to his correctives and be lifted to the pinnacle of faith, a joyful relationship with your creator. So the question is begged and on the table, what is a good response? Well, in our text, the writer poses the question, what child isn't disciplined? This is a loaded question in contemporary culture's parenting mode. The lack of even the simplest forms of accountability when it comes to civil behavior or manners runs rampant in our land. So is the result, a lack of respect for any kind of authority and a nation's character crumbling like the towers on 9-11. In fairness, you must consider the why behind parents not saying no to their children backed up by consequences. It stems from a faulty evaluation of who we are at our base nature. Parents imagine their children are, quote-unquote, good, and unacceptable behavior is merely a phase which will give way to that inherent goodness like cream in a milk bottle rising to the top. Scripture informs us, 66 times in the entire scripture, that our sin nature does not give way. It resists inhibition whatsoever, very stubbornly. Isaiah chapter 48. For I know how stubborn and obstinate you are. Your necks are as unbending as iron. Your heads are as hard as bronze. So a child left uncorrected, unaccountable, does not tire of his unacceptable behavior changing into a fine human being. He keeps pushing the envelope until it breaks. He abuses parents, peers, and those who get in his way until God or the penal system intervene. Just like a garden that's left unattended, a lack of discipline will evolve into a rowdy mess of weeds, unproductive, unsightly, and totally unstable. Humans in that category are temperamental, angry, selfish, sociopathic child adults unable to play nice with others. A side effect to all this is the child infecting the parents. Many a parent unwilling to say no to their child has become frustrated that their hands-off routine didn't work. They get to that last straw of frustration and begin to abuse their child or children in a knee-jerk rebound from their own failure. What then replaces permissiveness is overbearing punishment frustrating the child beyond any hope of accepting the parent's intended goodwill. The conclusion is that permissive parenting doesn't work because it's founded on a faulty premise that being good children left to their own choices make good choices. How wrong and how sad. For you today, true discipline always begins with love for the child. Defined by he who is love, genuine discipline is always accountability-based, instructive, helping a child to learn to obey God's authority so he can grow into God's loved and loving child. Galatians chapter 5, verse 14, For the whole law can be summed up in this one command, Love your neighbor as yourself. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.